We're on call with the UK Emergency Services, showing you what it's really like on the front line saving lives. On call with me is paramedic Jan Van. This is a rapid response vehicle, and it's on standby 24-7 to respond to whatever emergency calls coming in. Today, I'm going along for the ride, and guess what? You're coming with me. Jan can take 10 to 15 emergency call-outs in a day, and a new case is just in. So we've had a 999 call to a 53-year-old lady who's injured her ankle. So it could be anything from a simple sprain to blood loss, severe pain, and maybe some other cause for the fall that could be life-threatening as well. So we've got to get there quickly, find out what's going on. The call has taken us right into the centre of town. Hello. 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 Is it Linda? It is. What's what happened? What? Tripped over the man I Oh, on. just the edge of that raised platform yeah. there. So was you knocked unconscious at all? No. Have you hit your head or the back of your neck or your back at all? No. What have you injured? My knee and my ankle. OK. Are you able to bend your knee at all? I do, but my ankle hurts. Your ankle hurts when you bend it? Okay. Yeah. Press down on my hand. Push down as hard as you can. Where does that hurt when you push down? On my ankle. On the outside? Yeah. Linda's ankle is clearly causing her a lot of pain. So it may just look like Jan's feeling her ankle, but in fact, she's feeling in very particular places. There's a set of rules called the Ottawa Ankle Rules, and they help you decide whether they're likely to have broken a bone. So Jan's trying to figure out which bits are tender. That'll tell us whether she needs to go to hospital. Yeah, I'm going to need Emma back up for this patient. She's unable to wait there, um, needs an X-ray. Using the Ottawa rules, Jan has decided that the ankle is probably broken and Linda does need an ambulance. The moment she's quite uncomfortable, we're managing to keep her warm, but she can't walk on that leg. So we need to get her to hospital and get her an X-ray. She can be treated from there. It's important to keep it still so that if she's got any bones that are broken, if the edges rub together, it can create a lot of pain and it can create some bleeding, which will make the ankle worse as well. You're doing it, that's it. Well done, darling. Are you able to twist around a little bit? There you go. It's really good that Jan was able to assess her really quickly, get her an ambulance and get her to hospital where she needs to be. And once there, the doctors discovered Linda's ankle was broken and it was soon fixed. The team in the emergency department thought they'd seen everything. But they weren't expecting this. Sand! What's happened? In Sheffield Accident and Emergency, 10-year-old Neve has a dodgy ankle. What happened? I fell down some stairs. Uh-oh, that's not good. Let's find out more. Well, Neve had just been in her maths class and was heading for lunch. Oh, I've got a great maths joke. Go on, then. Why was six afraid of seven? I don't know, Zand. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Very good, Zand. Now, getting back to the story. Neve was on her way to lunch after maths. <clears throat> yes, Chris. All of a sudden, she fell down some stairs and hurt her ankle. Oh, no, Chris. That's no laughing matter. Ouch! How's that ankle feel now, Neve? Can't walk on it at all. Well, never fear, as Dr Helen Newsom is here. Oh, yeah, that is quite swollen, isn't it? That'll be a yes, then. Do you have any pain up here? It starts to hurt really bad about there, doesn't it? Can you wiggle your toes at all? Oh dear, those toes don't seem to be wiggling. What's the verdict, Doc? Worst case is that she's broken it. And one of the things you can do with breaks is you can damage some of the nerves or some of the blood vessels. And she might need to go to theatre with the orthopaedic surgeons and have it fixed. Best case scenario is that she's sprained it. So, it's off to X-ray to see what the damage is. Dr Helen delivers the results. We managed to do a little break or fracture through this bit here and one through this bit here. Ooh, double break. So what's the plan, Doc? We admit you for a couple of days. Right. Put you up on the ward and elevate that foot. It's really important that we get that swelling down. So what we need to do is we need to get her admitted for a couple of days just so we can make sure that leg is nicely kept up in the air, make sure she doesn't develop any complications. Probably not what you wanted to hear, is it? As Neve's ankle is so swollen, she's having a back slab cast. She needs a cast to keep the fractured bones stable, but it only goes halfway around to allow for the swelling. It's really heavy. It's heavy. 
How's that ankle feeling now, Neve? Feels a little bit better with it on. So it's a thumbs up and off to the ward for a sleepover, where Neve will have to keep her leg up for a couple of days, as it's important to get the swelling down on that ankle. Find out later how she gets on. We're in the park, the perfect place to spend an afternoon, whether you're sitting, having a picnic, walking with friends, or playing football. Sorry. But a day in the park can also be a day of danger. You could fall asleep without sun cream and get sunburned. Ooh, dangerous. Ow. You could get lost and stumble into a forest full of hungry bears. Phew, danger averted. Or you could accidentally forget your money for ice cream and have to watch other people enjoying theirs. Should we play football, then? Yeah, all right, let's do penalties. Oh, hang on. I have got some money after all. Oh, we're just using the ice cream van. <laughs> Ooh, a minor injury. So what should you do if you sprain your ankle? A, roll around on the grass crying, I'll never compete again. B, apply something cold to the injury for no longer than 10 minutes. Or C, buy the Ankle D Sprainer 2000 and hope it works. The correct answer is B. We need to reduce the pain and the swelling with a cold compress. How's that, Zahn? Well, it's better. But I'm still not happy. I know something that'll cheer you up. Come with me. Oh! <laughs> oh! My ice cream! My clothes! <laughs> hey! So remember, if you sprain your ankle, then put something cold on it for no longer than 10 minutes. And if you're worried, tell an adult. In fact, lots of injuries can be helped by putting something cold on them. It's particularly useful for sprains, strains and pulled muscles. This is because it reduces inflammation, stops swelling and can help with pain. So don't forget this cool fact. Nice ones, aren't? <laughs> Nearly half a million people come into accident and emergency every year with a sporting injury. Here's another one. Eight-year-old Mason is in accident and emergency with his mum, big sis and dad. He's not too happy, though. Because he's got a dishcloth on his leg. No, Zand, because... I hurt my ankle. Let's see it, then. My ankle's like a ball. And Mason can't bear to look. How did it happen? Check it out. Mason was trampolining and jumping as high as he could. Higher and higher and higher. Is that out of space? It gets worse. His cousin was on the same trampoline, going as high as he could. So guess what happened next? They left Earth orbit and flew to Mars. Outer space looks a lot of fun. Oh, hang on a minute. This doesn't look good. You're right, Zand. Here's what really happened. They smashed into each other, toppled down, and Mason twisted his ankle. Ouch! It's just a typical boy, isn't it? Good as gold. I'd be amazed if it's not broke. Here's the very man to tell you, Dr Christopher Beavis. Take a peek, Mason. You're in safe hands. Dr. Beavis checks the sensations in Mason's foot, as sometimes with a bad break or bad sprain, swelling can compress the blood supply and nerves, but he's happy that they're all OK. We're going to get an X-ray, just to make sure there isn't any bony damage underneath. Um, personally, I think this is a sprain at the moment, but obviously the X-ray will tell us a bit more information. So I'll get that sorted, we'll know what we're dealing with. So it's X-ray time for Mason. Although the doc thinks it's a sprain, you never can tell. That's a pretty good picture, Mason. Well done. Dr Beavis is checking the bones in Mason's foot. There's just a small fragment of bone, if you like. It isn't conclusive, but because of the symptoms and the size of his ankle, we're going to treat it like it's a clinical fracture. So the doc is treating it like a break. I hope you like the crutches, Mason. I'm kind of hoping I get crutches, so I'll be popular at school. What's he like? <laughs>
so we'll get you back to a fracture clinic in the next day or so. Never mind that. Yeah, what about the crutches? Does he keep his weight off it? Yeah, keep his weight. We'll give him some crutches as well. We'll see how he gets on with that. Result. But wait. There's no guarantee you get to take the crutches, because if you can't handle the crutches... Oh, we can. You can handle yeah. the crutches, OK. <laughs> I've been practising okay. okay, for when good. this day comes. Excuse me, practising? That's keen. But at eight, Mason's a bit young for crutches, and even though he could do with them, first he has to prove he can use them. Not what I wanted, crutches. <laughs> Not yet, you haven't. We don't really see him again once we give them to the kids, unfortunately. But, uh, but yeah, they seem to find them exciting. I'll be the second one in my school to have crutches. First one in my class. And what's so good about that? Girls. You'll have girls? I'll have all the girls just going, oh, you're all right, you're all right, you're all right. And I'll be like, yeah. Playing it cool, Mason. Nice. nice. But first, Mason has to take his test. They're not taking my crutches away. Join us later to see if he passes the test.